Heidi ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today with a second edition of the Chicken Project, okay? I've been meaning to film more videos, um, but I just hadn't had time, folks. But I think we're on week se day seven. I believe we've had these chickens for seven days now, okay? Bring the camera down here. I don't know on day one, did we show y'all this and this brooder yep. we did? Okay, so this is our first brooder that we had. Um, it was just a good sized tote and we put uh, pine shavings in there. And I think this is the third time I've changed this in seven days. Uh, every time I started smelling anything that smelled a little funky, I went ahead and just dumped it, you know, and got rid of it. And today it uh, smells a little funky and the birds are getting bigger. We're getting ready to show you these birds here in just a minute. And we're gonna show you the new brooder box that we got for them. So here's what you do. You have to buy a $2,000 stump grinder, okay? <laughs> so you can get this big metal crate that it comes in to use as your brooder box for your chickens, okay? Not really, folks, but that's what we ended up doing. We just bought another stump grinder for our stump grinding business, and we unboxed it, and that's what we're getting ready to show you here in just a few minutes, because we still got this in our kitchen. We're gonna try to keep these things in the house with us at least another week or two. Then we'll probably move it all out to the garage while we're building the chicken house. So with all that said, I want to show you real quick. I'm going to change out their water. Now come here, I want to show you what they do. They like to kick up chips and it looks like they get a little bit of poop in their water too. And I change this a couple times a day and we're going to change it right now. And usually I just dump it. And I let some of the water from inside the jar just kind of wash it out a little bit. And I'll go like that until it looks nice and clean, okay? And now what I'll do is just go ahead and take the lid off, okay? And dump all that water in there. And then we'll put some fresh water in here. Now what we put in here is a something that the lady recommended now the tractor supply. It's a probiotic um, powder mixture that you mix one scoop per gallon of water. So we keep this gallon here just for doing that. And I'm just about out. I think we got enough maybe to keep them for a little while anyway. I'll mix up some more in our gallon here in a little bit. I just want to get them going in our new brooder and I want to show you guys what we got in here. So here is our water ready to go. I'm going to set it right here for a minute and pause the video. We got to go get the food. I'll show you how I fill up the food. Okay, guys, here right quick. This is what we keep our food in and it's a five gallon bucket with one of these cool lids on here that screws on. Uh, I actually used this for some of my food storage, but not this particular one. Um, so here's our food. We keep a little scoop in here. Here's our feeder that we have. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just take the jar off of there. And sometimes they get uh, little chips and they might poop in there or whatever. So I just go ahead and dump it each time. I dump it right out here. And so the birds that are out here, they can enjoy some of it. Now, we will go ahead and fill this on up. I'll probably just fill it up about halfway or three quarters of the way. So there we go. And we'll screw this uh, little lid back on here. And, and we'll go inside and we'll put these down in our new brooder and we'll check it out and let you guys see the chickens. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we're inside now. We got the new brooder. Bring the camera down here. What does that say right there? Stump grinder, baby. <laughs> so this is uh, the crate that our, uh, our second new Power King stump grinder come in. And so we decided to use this as our brooder and this should get us on until we're ready to move them into the chicken house. So take a look at our little guys. They are definitely growing every day. Check out the feathers. Uh, if you've seen the first video, it was like on day one. They didn't have hardly any feathers. They're flying around now. And they could probably fly up here as high as the top of this one. They were definitely flying on the other one every time we took the screen wire off of there. And uh, let's see if let's see, this is, a couple of them are real gentle and they'll just crawl right up in my hand. Well, look there. That one there just crawled in my hand. Look there. Yes, she did. Come here, buddy. Or girl. <laughs> and let's see here. Now we've named all these folks. I'm gonna go ahead and let you in on the names, okay? This right here is our rooster, okay? Or we think it's a rooster. 
and we're naming him Dale. Okay. Why and are we naming him Dale? Because if he turns out to be a girl, Dale is still a girl's name. But where did you come up with Dale? Because I'm a big Dale Earnhardt fan. There I was you a go. big Earnhardt fan back in the day. And our white chickens here are the uh, leggerns, some people pronounce it, or leghorn, kind of like foghorn, leghorn. Now the biggest one, I can't tell, I think it's this one. And this is Rowdy Rhonda, because she has actually been a little handful ever since we got her. <laughs> and I'm almost thinking she might be a boy. I don't know. We'll have to wait and find out. This Rowdy is this Rhonda Rowdy, Rousey. Yep, Rowdy Rhonda. From WWE. And one of these white ones is Loretta, and one of them is uh, Patty. And we're not 100% sure which is which yet. we got to wait until we kind of uh, can tell more about them. Well, the, yeah, this one's got the more of a comb and we were going to name her Patty for Patty Loveless. Okay. And then over there favorite. is Loretta Lynn. Loretta. Yep. And now the, um, uh, I can't think of the, the <laughs> name of the type of bird now. Uh, goodness, um, I can't think of it. Red, know, red something. What was it? Red Island Rudder. Is that right? Ro Rhode Island. Rhode Island. I couldn't even think of it, guys. <laughs> All right, the other three here, Tina named one of them. Sunshine. Sunshine. And Nathaniel named uh, the other two. And one of them is named Angel. And one is named um, Sally. Okay. That one's Sally. And the one on this side is Angel. And then this one is Sunshine. Or okay. Sunny. She's the go. most docile. It says she'll general. crawl in my hand. She'll okay, crawl right in your out. hand. And then she, oh, oh she, she said, now I'm jumping out now. But she mm. likes to lay in your hand. She's just so easy going. Mm -hmm. See, look at her. Yep. And she, folks, these feathers right here on their back, right above their wings here, these actually just started, I started dosing them growing in on all the birds today. I didn't even notice those feathers yesterday. It's like they popped in overnight. And um, so there you go, guys. Uh, one thing I'm gonna try to do tomorrow I'm going to go out and get a two before and cut it. I'm going to take a measurement from here to here and get, or maybe from here to here, take a two before and I'm going to nail it into the side and give them something that they can sit up on. What they call that? Roost. Roost. Give them a roosting bar. Maybe they can fly up and sit on that. They might like to do that. And um, so we're going to do that. We still got the lamp on them. What we've been doing, folks, uh, they're one week old today. But I've already started backing off the temperature just a little bit. And what we've done here, let me show you. I went out and uh, found one of my microphone stands. And I got a couple weights laying down on it to keep it from tipping over. Because we definitely didn't want it tipping over. So when I want to bring the heat away, all I got to do is adjust the microphone stand up a little bit to bring the heat away from the chickens a little bit. And of course we... Even with the other brooder, we kept it on one end so they had a warm end of the brooder and then they could figure out where they wanted to be. If they if it was too hot for them, they could move away from it. So, and it always worked out. So some days I'd come in here and they they might be right underneath it. And then some days they were just kind of like on the outskirts of it. So I guess it depended on what the temperature of the house was. So there you go, folks. Here's our little chickens, day seven. Uh, we'll have uh, some videos, I'm sure, of making the uh, um, uh, chicken coop that we're going to do. We're going to use an old dog pen as a run. And then I think we're going to put all that inside our garden. We're actually going to put a fence up around it. And we're going to let them have the run of the garden when they get a little bigger. So anyhow, that's where we are. Anybody else want to say anything? Daniel, what do you think about these chickens? Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's all he has to say right now. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to get out. Yeah, they're trying to get out. Yeah. Now, folks, I didn't show you, but that old, uh, what I'm going to do with that uh, bedding that's in the other, bring the camera back up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that bedding out there and just dump it in my garden. That's what we've been doing. Just dumping it right out there with the poop and all, and it'll be good for our garden when we get ready to plow it under. And uh, so we're gonna go out there and do that now. And since we're not gonna use that toad anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out and kind of clean it up with some soap and water. 
But anyway, that's about it. We'll see you next time, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool stuff down in the, the description. I'm going to have some links to some products that you may want to purchase if you decide to uh, raise some chickens yourself. Have a wonderful day. Take care.